Hi guys, charity shop gold or garbage. Bit of a selection in here today. Start off with this one. One of those wooden clip together kits. Elevator, it calls it. We used to call them cherry pickers or mobile platforms. 99 pence it cost me. No idea what that is. Rocky. Yeah, anyway, that'll be one of those ones that I take away on holiday with me to keep me occupied on the quiet evenings. It looks quite nice. Next. That was from Poundland, that's nothing to do with the charity shop. Technobot, create your very own mechanical moving robot. Fun to build, easy to assemble, it's cool. Kids labs, yeah these keep turning up. Uh, cost me a pound. Basically, it's a cardboard fold-up robot shape with an electric motor, worm gear, some gears on the back axle, and some wheels. So it should go along, and I suspect they might even have something where it's going to make the arms rock, possibly. don't know. But that'll go in my stock for things to do when my grandsons come round. Or if they don't come round, I'll end up doing it myself. For a pound, I thought that was okay. Okay, what else? I think all that's left in there now... ...is some cars. Yeah. And the only reason we got four of them, it was in the box marked four cars for a pound. So 25 pence each. All I really wanted was that one, which is obviously radio controlled, 40 megahertz, Rastar Group. Made for Tesco's, one of our supermarkets. So we'll try that in a minute. And then I only bought the other three so that I had my four for a pound. That one's a little... Um, a pull back. Yeah, pull back. Sounds quite fast, actually. Front wheel's a bit, sort of. Yeah, okay. That one. Made in China. Uh, sort of Hot Wheels effect type thing. And same with that one. Lamborghini, I can't pronounce it, Mercalago. So, another one of my Lamborghini collection, I suppose. But again, doesn't do anything special, just sort of a hot wheel down the slope job. Didn't need any of them. 
because I just wanted that one. Almost forgot that was missing out of the bag because I was trying it out. I had one of these before. Spotted it in the charity shop. It's supposed to be a wall climber or a window climber. These suckers on the bottom stick to the window and the mechanics of it actually release one foot and place the next one in place. I don't know if you can actually see the sucker move. The only thing is it doesn't work. <laughs> I've tried it on the window and it doesn't stick. In fact, if I try it on the floor, it tends to fall over because it needs to actually stick to hold itself up, otherwise it topples over as one leg gets picked up. I did have one of these many years ago on one of my early charity shop videos, so I'll see if I can find it and put a link in the video description. These levers to adjust the um, sucker. So it might be a matter of adjusting it to get it just right. So I'll put some batteries in that one. So Aston Martin DB8 Coupe. Is that 143rd scale? Okay, anyway, got batteries in it. And a bit disappointing. Forwards, backwards is okay, but no steering. So we might have to do a tear down on that one, because I think these are the ones that have uh, magnetic steering, a magnet between a couple of coils. And I expect one of the wires has come loose. That's the one I found in the past. So we might be doing a teardown on that one completely separate, not in this video, in another video. Well it's doing better than it did last time I tried it. Probably because I adjusted that adjuster. Oh, <laughs> moment I stepped away to check the camera, and he fell off. I don't know if he's got any manufacturer's details on him. Don't see any. Well, that was a bit of a surprise, that, because it didn't work at all when I tried it earlier. But I will put a link to the other one that I had. And that label just fell off. 99 pence in the charity shop. Just a bit of fun.
Hey, thanks for watching. There's plenty of videos on my main channel with more added daily, so don't forget to subscribe and enable the notifications to keep you up to date with my new releases. You can help keep my channel running by donating a dollar on Patreon to buy me coffee. You can always find more information in the video description. Thanks again for watching.